Hello, welcome to this video. So this is going to be the first episode of the Smart Developer Hacks. So this is going to be a small thing I'm starting and this is going to be not about much uh, recording but sharing resources, hacks, tips that can improve or make you money as a developer um, along the road. Uh, I have tons of resources I use in my workflow uh the things i always the excited businesses and the things and i always have these tools and i always wanted to have a way of sharing them without making a long video i've been making very long videos uh for big projects on my channel i want such something whereby i share some other things like resources tools apis and other things that are very essential to developers and even making money without even just like really going deeper in coding but just like giving you those resources that you can use and maybe uh for the if you are a very smart developer you'll find this very resourceful and it is going to be smart so in today's episode we are looking at those um apis that um big businesses or smart developers have used to make a lot of money in the market and probably even these apis are actually free so if you are like me you have made these kind of applications whereby uh guys are automating for instance whatsapp business uh they are automating uh instagram reels they are scheduling instagram they are doing tiktok videos they are scheduling uh linkedin posts and then you're like how, how do these people actually build this kind of apps like where do they get the data how do they get access to like uh this and if you are smart enough you must have tried some uh searching things like this how to post instagram reels programmatically and then of course you hit like a blog and then you hit like videos and quick enough you find out it is not what you thought and of course you go back to your comfort zone and you never make that kind of app so you just like go for instance how to automate whatsapp you end up going into like these blogs and you find that you don't actually always have anything and if you are very smart enough you go ahead you even go to the whatsapp documentation and then you go around here you click around some of these links and then it doesn't reading documentation is, is not easy the way you see here these are all documentations and if you have read documentation is you know they are not clear and they sometimes are very uh daunting so today i'm going to share you how these people use these apis and uh, they find the easy way to tap in and you build an application like this one which schedules like linkedin or <clears throat> which schedules whatsapp uh, or which does like these whatsapp things uh i discovered this um from another I always make a lot of research so if you just come here to postman okay uh here to postman dot uh, com and uh, slash explore they will just uh, give you uh right away they have tons of apis with how to use them like they have these collections of um uh, rest apis how you are going to use them in their collection in postman direct you can test them you can fork them out and you go ahead and you test them i was really really blown away at uh, see this and you can see right away if you just go and explore you see the popular for instance the popular api is here for instance you have the instagram api okay so if you got instagram api they have here a step by step on how you can fork the actual api if you look at these these are just like the the get request they tell you exactly what what is the api you need to hit what do you need and where to get what they have written this and this is if you look at this this comes from the uh for instance meta themselves are the ones who uh who posted this uh collection if you just read here you can see this is by meta so they these guides are just here with actual collections and so this is the only instagram api i was so blown away where we have all the documentation and apis for almost everything if you just come here and you go for instance in, in <clears throat> categories here they are for e-commerce travels databases they 
I, this is really good. Like, if you go to PayPal API, for instance, you may just go to the actual documentation and you hit a roadblock. But if you just come here, they give you the actual APIs and the actual endpoints to hit for specific things you want to get to do. Of course, they even have the link, of course, that takes to the actual documentation if you want to go to the actual documentation. But here they just summarize and they give you what you need. You can run this in a postman direct. Mm? Th this is really amazing. Uh, for This is for different APIs. You can see this is for PayPal, invoices, payouts, and all these things. Now, let's just like move very fast through this. I don't have really much time. As I said, I want to just keep this as under 10 minutes. I'm just going to try my level best to keep all these videos for these uh, the smart developer hacks under 10 minutes. So uh, you have like business API, why you can automate your business. Uh, you have WhatsApp business uh, API. They have all the things you need. You can get analytics. You can look at billing. You can uh, post. You can look at the templates for posting. Jesus, like this is really good. So if just this is the Twitter API, uh, Twitter API, and they give you here the uh, what you need, and you can test this out if you have these things. Like they show you where to get these uh, access token to um, token separate. This is really good um this is Twitter messaging api of course facebook api uh lobby you can even just discover the new ones you didn't know that they exist there are so many things or very many apis that you didn't know and they're addressing those problems you always made a client can give you a very complicated app for instance that posts that schedules posts for instagram tiktok maybe facebook whatsapp and all these APIs are actually here and how to use them. Chat GPT API and how to use the embeddings. Ah, you can just find this here. They have all these endpoints on how to use, for instance, how to use embeddings, um, how to fine tune. Like, this is really good. And they have all these endpoints here. <clears throat> like, for instance, if you want to do text generation, they give you exact endpoint to hit. You can see here. Open API V1 completions. This is the API you need to hit. And you can look at here the params you need. Authorization if it is required. Headers and even the body. You can see, for instance, in the headers, you need to pass in the authorization, this uh, open AI here. And if you just go to the body, they give you the only things you need to, to pass in in the body. The model and the messages. <laughs> this is really too good. Uh, random data generator API, you can read through this. How do you get in your app? Like you can create another app that generates for people random data. The API is here, it's free. Uh, you can just like post, you can register. You can just like get like first name, last name. How many times like you want this kind of data? You see this. And applications like Mocha, if you just remember these, this i think there is a what you call mocha uh data something i don't remember the but this mocha row it is based on that very thing like this is mocha row here it generates random data it is using this uh this api we just saw here i don't know why you saw it but you saw it this one you can hit this to generate like random names and you can build another big application uh from this uh from this api and you can test everything from here. Uh, you can like, generally you can run these. You simply fork the whole entire API. Like this whole collection, you can just go ahead and fork it. And it goes to your own postman. And then it's like interacting with it, test uh, these things. Google Sheet API. Like, do you want to be posting things from, I saw like this, uh, was it like which app? Whereby they post things from Google Sheets. This is like too good. Like all these APIs actually are just here. Like Google Sheet API, how to interact with it. The other thing I was just trying to get this for sure. I hit a roadblock. I didn't know how to use this Google Sheet API. The Google Sheet API, it is here. Like to use it very well. Update values, get values, post append. This is too good, guys. This is too good. Notion API. You can interact with Notion API. 
all of it create pages get pages get blocks search comments you can use the notion api free and you can test all these things here like retrieve a user list or you this is so good we have here this uh for zoho zoho o orm uh they have the rest api for most of their apps different versions different things i was moving through i was so much overwhelmed uh with how, what can i do with this this is so good you can see whatsapp business whatsapp cloud whatsapp flows all these apis are here and businesses are building this so you can see this is entire application that is automating whatsapp and things and you can see here message from Google Sheets automate sending messages when a new row is added to Google Sheet. They just like my, uh, using the Google Sheet API plus the WhatsApp API, and all these are here available on um, our Postman. Thank you so much for watching this session. I just want to keep these videos under 10 minutes, and I want to be giving you these videos. If you like them and you want, you have like something you want me to share. I will be sharing it under this the smart uh the, the smart developer hacks thank you so much see you in the next one